Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. In this lesson, we learn how to draw an equilateral triangle. So it says, draw an equilateral triangle with side 10 centimeters. Okay, now what we understand by an equilateral triangle is that it has got equal sides. Equi means equal and lateral is sides. So equilateral is equal sides. Okay, so if we were to draw a rough triangle over here, a rough equilateral triangle here is what it'll look like right it's got three sides and each side is equal to 10 centimeters in this case right so this is a this is b this is c a b is 10 centimeters a c is 10 centimeters and b c also is 10 centimeters okay so as simple as that all we have to do is draw a triangle that has got three equal sides okay so how about we do that okay so let's use the ruler to draw 10 centimeters okay so here is my ruler and on using this ruler I'm going to draw a line that's 10 centimeters long okay so I start at 0 and go to 10 this is 10 centimeters right remove the ruler now, this is A, this is B, and AB is equal to 10 centimeters. Okay, now next, what we have to do is draw this line AC and this line BC. Now, how do I draw this line AC so that it's 10 centimeters? I start from A, okay, and draw a line. But should I draw the line in this direction? Or should I draw it here? Or should I draw further there? How do I know in which direction to draw this line? Well, actually, I do know how to draw this line or in which direction to draw this line because what I know is another property of equilateral triangles, which is that every angle in an equilateral triangle is equal to 60 degrees, right? All the sides are equal and all the angles are also equal. So every angle is equal to 60 degrees. So I know that using a protractor, I must draw this line AC so that angle A is equal to 60 degrees, right? As simple as that. So we clear all these lines. Next, we use a protractor. We place the protractor on A, the middle, the center of the protractor on A and we mark 60 degrees, which is here. Okay, this is 60 degrees. Starting from 0, this is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. Okay, next, I start at A and make this line that passes through 60 degrees. So, this is 60 degrees. Let's put that here that this is equal to, this angle is equal to. 60 degrees. Next, I also know that angle B is also equal to 60 degrees. So all I do is take the protractor again, move it to B, okay, place it here like this, mark 60 degrees here from B, so it's here, then draw a straight line starting from B, passing through 60 degrees, and that's the end of it. There you go. This over here, this point where the two lines meet, where the two lines cross, is your C. So this angle, angle B, is also 60 degrees. Now, how do I know that angle C is also equal to 60 degrees? Well, let's measure it. Okay, so I take the protractor, rotate it, okay, rotate it, and place it here at this angle, angle C. Okay, turn this and measure it and see if it really makes an angle of 60 degrees okay well we are right here is the angle and this is 60 degrees so there you go this angle is also equal to 60 degrees okay let's remove the protractor so angle c is also equal to 60 degrees now how about ac how do we confirm that ac is really equal to 10 centimeters and bc also really is equal to 10 centimeters well let's use a ruler and measure yeah so we take a ruler okay and measure this let's see i turn it okay 
So can you see that this line really is 10 centimeters? Here you go, I move it a little bit so you can see. So this line really is 10 centimeters, starting at 0, going to 10. So yes, this line is equal to 10 centimeters. Okay, how about we measure BC? Let's do that as well, okay? So I take this ruler, rotate it again one more time, okay? Put it here, okay, and measure it. See this line BC starting from here at C it's 0 and at B it's 10. So you see this line BC is also equal to 10 centimeters. So each of these is 10 centimeters and each of the angles is 60 degrees. So you see as long as all these angles are 60 degrees and this line AB is 10 centimeters these two lines or these two sides AC and BC will also be equal to 10 centimeters. So that's how to draw an equilateral triangle with a side of 10 centimeters. I hope you understood this problem and I hope that now you'll go and practice some more problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye.